Hello! For all macro photography lovers out there and those that want to start shooting macro or to learn more, I was recently approached by Nisi to review their macro lens attachment as well as their macro rail. And these are in fact very interesting tools. So don't budge, don't move, don't go anywhere. I'm coming right back after the intro. First off, and as a note, I wasn't paid to do this review, and this is my very personal opinion. I shoot Fujifilm cameras, as most of you might know by now, and I have tested their 80mm f2.8 macro lens some time ago. You can check the video up here. While you can definitely go for that more pricey solution, if you're not going to shoot macro that often or that, like me, you need to shoot rings and other such details at weddings, and you don't want to bring yet another lens with you, this is a much cheaper alternative that quite frankly works fine. I've been using the Fujifilm official micro extension tube until now, the MCX16, but when you add this attachment to your lens, and in this case my favorite lens, which is the 56mm f1.2, you get similar or better results. That's why I decided to not only test the Nisi close-up extension, but to also try using the MCX16 extension tube in combo, so you guys can see the difference. The working distance, which is the distance between the end of the lens and the subject, when you add the MCX16 becomes even more impressive. There are two close-up lenses, the 58mm and the 77mm. We're going to take a look at the 58mm, which I asked for, since I wanted to try it specifically on my Fujinon 56mm f1.2, so they also sent me a step-up ring to use it with this lens. Nisi suggests to use this macro lens with focal lengths ranging from 70mm to 300mm to turn them into macro lenses and to drastically reduce the working distance. Since the 56mm lens is for APS-C sensors, the full frame equivalent is around 85mm roughly. So now let's see what's included in the box. You of course get the close-up lens of 58mm. You get two adapter or step-down rings, allowing you to use the macro lens on a 52 or 49mm lens without vignetting. They provide you with a lens cap to protect the glass on both sides. And you get a small round pouch that will avoid losing the lens and which is overall nice to have. I usually avoid getting too technical in my videos and this will be no exception. They used a special coating on the glass as well as a special treatment of the glass itself to achieve close to no purple and or green fringing and to get high quality images as a result. So I will now show you a bunch of sample images that I shot with this close-up lens attachment on my Fujinon 56mm f1.2 with and without the MCX16. Here you go. This drastically reduces the working distance of the lens and makes it a great alternative to more expensive dedicated macro lenses. If you like my content and you want to support me and support this channel, don't hesitate to subscribe, thanks. For those that have been shooting macro for a while and those that did it a few times, you will know that it can be very tricky to nail your focus and that any small adjustment can be a real pain in the butt since you normally don't want to change the composition. A great workaround for this is the macro focusing rail that Nisi proposes, which I have right here. This is made of metal all around, it feels solid and sturdy in the hands, and there are a bunch of small details that are very welcome, such as the pin that shows how much you're moving on a millimeter scale, the small rubber pads under the legs, the way the plate clicks when turning, etc. It would have been great to have a plate that hides the thread, but that is in no way a problem in terms of usability. This is a pretty straightforward tool that allows you to do micro adjustments when you're shooting macro. It moves in small increments in the order of fractions of millimeters, and that is useful for two scenarios. One, a lot of lenses have focused breathing, and or two, you want to keep the same composition. Now in terms of what you get, here are the different parts. The macro rail, of course, an Arca Swiss quick release plate, which is nice to have in addition to your existing tripod plate. And you also get a nice pouch to carry the rail around. 
this rail allows for a bunch of different settings and configurations. You can use it as a tabletop rail thanks to the four removable metal legs. Or on a tripod thanks to the Arca Swiss compatible base, which is basically the entire bottom side of the rail. The legs can stay on the rail even when using most tripods and they won't get in the way. There are two ways to move the camera on the rail. You have a quick adjustment knob that allows for quick movements and you then have a fine adjustment knob that can be used to increase or decrease the distance in small increments. There's an extra knob that allows to loosen or tighten the grip when making adjustments. You can turn the camera in any direction thanks to the rotating plate. This can also be tightened and or loosened as needed to avoid accidental movements. One thing I did notice is that when you put the Fuji X-T3 with the 56mm f1.2 on the rail when it's been used as a tabletop, it becomes less stable due to its size. I don't have the 90mm f2 handy, but I can only imagine how unstable that must be when you're trying to make fine adjustments. So I prefer using it on the tripod at all times. All the micro shots that you saw so far have been shot using the rail and it made it very comfortable when trying to get a different part of the subject in focus. So are you a micro photographer? Is this an alternative that makes sense to you or would you rather go with the macro lens? You can share your thoughts or your questions down below and I'll answer them as fast as possible. I leave you guys for now but I'll catch you in my next video. Cheers! This sentence is just uh, impossible to read. I just, I cannot say this so we're gonna try again. Guys, we're going to try again, okay? We're gonna try this again because this, this, this is gonna happen now. All right, let's do it. Jesus, I made it. I made it, guys, I made it. This is unbelievable. For those that, this is a pretty straightforward, I can't do it anymore, oh my God. I'm gonna lose it, God damn it. Oh God, this is not possible. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, okay. Let's do it again.